I was lost, now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. When I call, you're always there. Yahweh. I was. 
was blind, but now I see, even when I call, you're always there, calling Yahweh. Oh, we reverence you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
ancient of days. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who alone doeth great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. Let's magnify him. Let's adore him for yet another privilege. Father, we bless your name. We give you all the glory. We adore you for your mercies. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for preservation. Thank you for protection. Thank you for bringing us into your presence. Thank you for the atmosphere of heaven around this place. Father, we bless your name. We adore you. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all my iniquities, who healeth all my diseases, who redeemeth my life from destruction, who crowned me with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth my mouth with good things, so that my youth is renewed like the eagles. Father, we worship you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We adore you. Father, we welcome you into this place. We welcome you into this auditorium. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We ask that your glory and your presence will fill this place. Jesus, you are welcome in this place. Jesus, you are welcome. Jesus, you are welcome. Jesus, you are welcome. In the name of Jesus. Let your glory, let your presence fill this place. We want to see you in a new way. We want to encounter you in a new way. In the name of Jesus. We command the atmosphere to shift in the name of Jesus. Jesus alone is exalted in this place. Let every other forces, every other power, let them bow to the lordship of the Lord. For at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus is the Lord. Let every knee bow. Let every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord today in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray and ask the Lord that the Lord will meet you at the point of your needs. That you will not come to this place in vain. That the Lord will impart your life. Father, we present our fresh suits unto you, O God. We pray that you fill us. Fill us. We have come to feast at your table. We pray that you encounter our lives that our life will not remain the same again in the name of Jesus. Commit yourself to God. Present your heart desires before him. Father, we ask, oh God, for a touch, for an encounter from you today, that our life will not remain the same again in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We saturate this place with the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over our spirit, soul, and body, over every soul that will step in into this place. Jesus alone will be exalted. Jesus alone will be glorified. Father, we bless you. We adore you. We thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And we declare this meeting open in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lift up those hands as I worship him this morning. We worship you, our God. Begin to wave your hands this morning. As we give him thanks. Levreko se hala badaya la mana ikolono monosh. Ikohina la brada nosh. We worship you, Jesus. We give you praise. Somebody watch me. Lord, I give you Somebody watch me. We worship you, Jesus. 
I have more than a son Today I brought myself I am your worship Thank you Jesus Hallelujah. You know jam your hands to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit Who oh, bless your name are you excited in the house? Yes. We worship you then. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, celebrate Jesus as we hallelujah. praise him this morning. Glory. Have a good shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
smoke of my worship release upon the air. Yeah. This is how I win. This is how I win. Worship at your feet, 
to worship him. Let's exalt his holy name. Let's magnify him. He's the Alpha and Omega. Nobody is like him. If it has not been for him, we would have been consumed, but it has pleased him to keep us alive in the land of the living. Let's worship him. Let's exalt his holy name. Thank you, Father. Father, we worship you. We exalt your holy name. We magnify you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have worship. Let's still be in the attitude of worship. Can we take our congregational hymn? Come to the Savior. Make no delay.
we will continue to gather to praise our Lord Jesus Christ till eternity in the mighty name of Jesus. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. It is time to pray. Hallelujah. Um, the book of Psalm 75 verse 1 says, We give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks for your wondrous works. Declare that your name is near. Hallelujah. So our first prayer is, Thank you, Lord, for your wondrous work in my life, in your church, over pregnant women, be glorified, O oh Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead and give thanks to our Lord for all the wondrous works, the marvelous works, the beautiful works that He has done in our lives, that He is doing in our lives, that He is yet to do in our lives. Go ahead and give Him thanks. He has done so much for us. We cannot even count it all. Give him praise. Go ahead and thank him. He is faithful. He has been faithful to you. He has been faithful in your household. He has been faithful in your career. He has been faithful in your business. He has been faithful in your children's life. Go ahead and say thank you, Jesus. We thank you for what you have been doing in our church. Thank you for each and every miracle you have performed here. Thank you for each and every every prayer that you've answered. Thank you for every he um, sickness, O oh Lord, that you have healed. We thank you for this church. Thank you, O oh Lord, because the gates of hell did not prevail in this church. Thank you because your church is marching on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for prevailing for your church. Go ahead and give him thanks. O oh Lord, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be lifted. In our hearts, let your name be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. The book of Acts 13 verse 9 says, Then Saul, where, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked intently at him. Our second prayer is, Father, let your Holy Spirit overshadow my life, your church, our families, in Jesus' mighty name. Let your Spirit overshadow our lives. Let your Holy Spirit fill our lives. Let your Spirit fill your church in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, fill our lives. We are empty without you. We cannot do anything without you. We cannot move without you. We cannot act without you. Spirit of the Most High, fill our life in the name of Jesus. Oh, Holy Spirit, fill your church in the name of Jesus. Limbra bo shanta yala bosa. Raba bo shanta kayala bosa. Holy Spirit divine. Lika tabo shanta yala bosa. Come and fill our lives. Leke tebo shanta ya. Fill our families in the name of Jesus. Limbra bo shanta. We want our strength. Holy Spirit, Likatabo Shantayala Bosha, Lababo Shenteke, thank you, King of Glory, Libra Bo Shantayala Bosha, in the name of Jesus we have prayed. The book of John 8, verse 12 says, Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness but have the light of life. Hallelujah. Our third and last prayer point says, Oh Lord, please empower me to follow you so that I may have the light of life in the name of Jesus. I want us to take this prayer point again. Say, Oh Lord, oh Lord 
Please empower me to follow you so that I may have the light of life in Jesus' name. Go ahead and ask the Lord to empower you, empower you to stand, empower you to walk, empower you to run, empower you to do his good will in the name of Jesus, to follow his statutes, to follow his ways in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, empower me. Oh Oh Lord, empower me that I may do your will. Oh Lord, empower you so that I may not struggle. Oh Lord, empower me so that I may not be confused. Oh Lord, empower me in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Just go ahead and give thanks to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 47 verse 1. Hallelujah. Amen. Shout unto the Lord, O ye people. Amen. Clap your hands, O ye people. Amen. Clap your hands, O ye people. Amen. Shout unto the Lord with the shout of triumph. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. I want to thank the leadership of the church and the directorate of evangelism for this great opportunity. We are not taking it for granted. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. This season has been tagged our Sunday of the Continental Evangelism. Hallelujah. And our line of exhortation is titled Reposition for Evangelism. Somebody say Reposition for Evangelism. Thank you, Father. Let us pray. Father, we worship you this great day. Thank you for your awesome presence in our midst. We give you all the glory. Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 2 says, When he spoke unto me, his spirit entered me and set me on my feet. And I heard him that spoke to him. Holy Spirit divine, as you are speaking to us, we shall hear you. Your name alone shall be glorified. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. By the way of introduction, people of God, every soul carries the image of God and is important to God. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. We are created in the image of the Lord. He created us in his own likeness. A soul is what more than anything else in the world. Hallelujah. Therefore, God does not want any to perish, but to come to repentance. Given these brethren, the main responsibility of every believer who has been transformed from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light should be so willing. Hallelujah. John chapter 15, verse 16. Let's read. John chapter 15, verse 16. I read. He said, you did not choose me, but I have chosen you. To bear fruit, so that your fruit may abide. Hallelujah. We did not choose him, 
he has appointed us to go out and bear fruit so that our fruit may abide. I pray in the name of Jesus, your fruit will abide in the name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 28 verse 19, we have been commanded to go into all the nations and make disciples. Hallelujah. So winning is a metaphor for evangelism. Hallelujah. And it is not an option to be considered. It is a command from the Father. Hallelujah. The exploit of the early church. The early church was passionate and forcefully indefatigably committed to the business of soul winning because it is the heartbeat of God. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Lord is urging you and I to be committed to soul winning because it is the heartbeat of God. Even in the midst of persecution, the men of the early church were in the temple teaching the people and they fill Jerusalem with the doctrine of the Lord. Even when the persecution was so intensified, they were undaunted. They continued to preach the gospel. And the people of the nation said about them, these are the people that have turned the nation, the world, upside down. That will be your testimony. If that is your testimony, shout hallelujah. Glory be to God. The passion and forcefulness of the early church were obvious even to the unbeliever who even accused them of turning the world upside down. Acts chapter 17 verse 6. And they said these are the people that have turned the world upside down. Glory be to Jesus. It, it must be a deliberate action. It must be an unrelenting force. This is our season of divine repositioning. And there cannot be a movement without the force of movement. I pray this day the Lord will reignite and energize you to preach the gospel without ceasing in the name of Jesus. Why is so winning necessary? Why is so winning necessary? The early church were passionate believers and aggressive in so winning. Every believer must keep the fire burning because he has sent you to go into the world. Why is it important? John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world and he gave us his only begotten son. And he said, if anyone believes in him, he shall not perish, but have an everlasting life because of the love of God for the world. Hallelujah. Your world can be your area of influence, your business, your family, your friend, your profession, your political class, your career. That can be your world. You don't need to go very far to preach the gospel. Even on the social media, what are you posting there? It is found Today, that people are dwelling more on the social media, even more than they are dwelling in their territory. Is the social media feeling your impact? The love of God must be shared. Hallelujah. Why is so winning necessary? Wickedness is on the increase. Hallelujah. Psalm 74 verse 20. He says, I have respect unto the covenant, for the dark places of the world 
is full of the habitation of curiosity. Hallelujah. So the world is cruel. We need to preach the gospel. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 and 2 says, Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For darkness and gross darkness will cover the whole world. So you must arise as light. You must give out and diffuse the light of life. And he says, the light shineth in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. Glory be to God. Why must I preach the gospel? No repentance in the grave. After that, there is judgment. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. Every sinner lost in hell is a pain to heaven. Hallelujah. Every sinner lost in hell is a pain to heaven. That's why you must not hide. You must preach the gospel. Glory be to Jesus. Why must I preach the gospel? Jesus came to seek the lost. Luke chapter 19 verse 10. He has come to fish out to seek those that are lost. And you must preach the gospel because the time is short. The second coming of Christ is imminent. I pray the Lord will ignite that fire in you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. People of God, what are the profits of soul winning? Soul winning is highly rewarding. What are the rewards? One, divine companionship. Somebody say divine companionship. It is the gateway to experiencing the presence of God. Mark chapter 16 verse 20. As they went out and preached everywhere, the Lord walking with them. Somebody say, the Lord walking with them. So to command the presence of God, you must preach the gospel so that the Lord continues to walk with you and confirming the world through the accompanying signs and wonders. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Access to divine wisdom. The anchor scripture for this season is in Proverbs chapter 11 verse 30. And he who wins souls is wise. Hallelujah. Preaching the gospel is a covenant platform for receiving supernatural wisdom. I pray the Lord will impart you in the name of Jesus. Daniel chapter 12 verse 3 says, those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament, and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever. I pray that will be your testimonies in the name of Jesus. Joy and fulfillment. As you go out to preach the gospel, the Bible says, and the 70, they return with joy. That will be your testimony. He said there will be joy in heaven for a man, for a woman that gives his souls even unto God. And if you cause joy in heaven, you will enjoy the overflow here on earth. If you trigger joy in heaven, you will definitely enjoy the overflow here on earth. That will be your testimony. In the name of Jesus, and a sheep answers to prayers. Perhaps you have been praying. How do I get results? I've done many things. And it appears God is not showing forth. John chapter 15 verse 16 says, You did not choose me, and I have chosen you to go and bear fruit. And let your fruit abide. And you will ask anything in my name, and my Father in heaven. We do it for you. It is humorously said that if you want to touch any man's pocket, you must touch his wall, his heart. So winning is the heartbeat of God. 
to touch the heart of God, engage in soul winning. People of God, if you have not been practicing it today, put this into action and see what God will do in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. What about open doors? 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. He said, furthermore, when I came to Torah and preached Christ's gospel, a door was opened for me there. Hallelujah. I've heard testimonies of people trusting God for open door and they go to the man of God, to the pastors, and he will look at them, go and preach the gospel. Engage in evangelism. I'm believing God for a gainful job. I'm believing God for wisdom. Go and preach the gospel. Dress up. Come, get tracks. And go as if you are going to walk. And in the process, a door was opened unto me when I preached the Christ gospel. That will be your testimony. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. NLT of 2 Corinthians 2.12 say, The Lord gave me tremendous opportunities. That shocked me. He gave me tremendous opportunity if I preach the gospel. If you want to get God, get going. Engage God. Glory be to God. Finally, what are the essentials to be an active soul winner? Engage the Holy Spirit, the great comforter. 1 Corinthians 12, 13, he says, No one can say, Jesus is the Lord, except by the word, by the Holy Ghost. After all our outreach yesterday, our mother in the Lord said, Depend on the Holy Spirit. You cannot convert any man. Go in partnership with the Holy Ghost. He says, no one can say Jesus is the Lord except by the work of the Holy Ghost. Glory be to God. Because he's the convictor. He is the helper in the area of evangelism. He's the Lord of the harvest. As you engage prayers and the Holy Ghost, he helps you. People of God, I will leave us with this this day. And very interesting, I'm reading now the account of the great evangelist, Rena Bonke, here in South Africa. We were told that he entered a supermarket and the lady that was attending to him looked into his eyes and broke down. She began to weep. She began to weep. And eventually he led her to Christ. And when the man of God went back home, he asked the Lord, Father, what happened? The Lord said, I live in you. I walk with you. I live by you. And once in a while, I step out to look through your world. And anyone that encounter my eyes through your eyes cannot cope with it. He or she will surrender to Jesus. That is what I have done in your outing. Rise up on your feet this morning and say, Father, I receive fresh grace, fresh infilling, fresh baptism for a bumper harvest. This season, in the name of Jesus, Go ahead and continue to pray. Go ahead and continue to pray, people of God. Thank you, everlasting Father. Jacob's well will never do. We will draw from you. This old world will never do. So we will draw 
from you. Jacob swear we're never to, so we will draw from you. This old world will never do, so we will draw from you. Jacob's well will never do, we will draw from you. This old world will never do, so we will draw from you. Jacob's well will never do, we will draw from you. This old world will never do, we will draw from you. Jacob's sweat will never do, we will draw from you, Jesus. This old world will never do, but we will draw from you. Uh, we've come to draw. John chapter 4, Jesus met that woman at the well, and in verse 13, he said to her, if you know who stands before you, you will ask him to give you that water, that when you drink of it, you will never taste again. When all is said and done, all our work, all our struggle can only matter in Jesus. For there is only one name by which we are saved. And at the name of Jesus, lives are turned around. Demons tremble. Situations bow. Mountains bow. Thank you, Jesus. There is only one name. There is only one name. With power to say, with power to say, there is only one name, hey, hey, hey. there is only one name, with power to say. Ah, 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 ah. With power to say, say, there is only one.
Now we are going to declare over our destinies and over now this ground that there is a shift in the atmosphere, a shift in my soul, a shift in my home. I'm moving forward. Are you ready to declare the name of Jesus higher than mountains, higher than obstacles? Go ahead and just worship him. Holy Spirit. If truly you believe that the atmosphere is prepared for Jesus and his world to transform, to change, to break chains, to break yokes, exalt Jesus. Glorify him. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name, we are afraid. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. In you we live, we move, and we have our being. Thank you for bringing us back. Many of us, we were here last Sunday, and we prayed to you to go before us, to be with us. And now, you have brought us back. Thank you. Thank you. To you alone be the praise in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Psalm 9, verse 17, and Revelation 21, verse 8. Among many reasons why we must preach to our friends, we must talk about evangelism, soul winning. It's because hell is real. And the Bible makes it clear that hell is actually prepared for the devil and his angels, not for human beings. But if you don't tell your friends, if you don't talk about it, let whoever decide never to be part of what God has offered than for us to get to heaven and we are condemned for not telling them. He said, the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that fear God. The wicked shall be turned to hell and all the nations that forget God. Revelation 21 verse 8 also confirmed this truth. He said, the fearful, the abominable, 
the cowardly, the unbelieving, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Fine, today is evangelism day. Don't let our hearts turn to outside. Let the evangelism start in the house. If you are not born again, today is your day. Say amen. amen. If you are not born again, today, your name will be written in the book of life. Amen. And that's why God has prepared a vessel. All the way from Addis Ababa. Amen. Where the original gospel was preached in Africa. The Ethiopian Enoch took the gospel there first. And I've been preaching my Cape Town anointing. is producing small, small results. But this, my uncle, is from the Ethiopia Enoch city. The, the original one. Hallelujah. He's been here before. And um, many of us, we still remembered some words that he spoke into our lives. So this morning, it's a privilege to have him. He's also an altar minister in the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Ethiopia. And um, on the day of our wedding, he didn't make it. But the money he sent to me, that is the only money I remember that was given to me because the money was, uh, you don't understand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Join me to welcome my uncle to the podium this morning. My uncle, Taiwo Oluyomi. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, let me appreciate my brother who is the pastor, the shepherd of this church. Thank you, sir, for the opportunity to share your pulpit. Mommy, thank you. For The Lord will honor you. Uh, the way you welcomed yes, yesterday was also extraordinary. Special before the Lord will grant you. And uh, thank you so much. Yesterday, God bless you. Actually, when you were singing that song, the Holy Spirit, I wanted to speak on repositioning for empowerment. And this morning, the Lord spoke to me, shifting from asking to receiving. And when, so when you say the atmosphere should speak, to, should shift, tell your neighbor, shift. And I, and I want to thank you, sir, for the powerful teaching. You made my, life, my job very easy. Thank you so much for that powerful exposition. Tell your neighbor, shift. Situation, shift. Whatever follow me here, shift. Whatever has been following my life, shift. I am shifting. Power of darkness, shift. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is here this morning. You lost a chance. A chance. And God said he's going to give you a second chance. I will not go into detail because we have people online. This, uh, this is a life service. But God is going to give you a second chance. God spoke to me this morning. You will get a second chance. That chance you lost, you will recover it. I said that chance, you will recover it. In the name of Jesus. The second point, we will, we will do more during the second service. This one is a teaching. Uh, the second one, there, there's somebody here. You are walking. You will be. You, you seems to. They lie against you. They are. They lie against you. And you are looking at how will this matter turn? You will be vindicated. You will be vindicated. Makapoli kapali kamproko setebo banderebo shaka. You will be vindicated. God will vindicate you. You justify you. 
and the, li the liar will fall into that pit in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this morning. Mm. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you love. somebody this morning somebody is about to be healed now you are about to be here now as we sing this song the power of God will fall fire of God will fall Yahweh your name is Yahweh your name and say finger of God appear in my life I like a shouting church I like people to shout when the finger of God comes into your life negative finger will wither finger of God appear 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 ha Aha, 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 it's a privilege to stand on this exalted altar this morning. I will be very brief because I want to talk about somebody. I don't know whether they can help me to project the the no the pick the the, the evangelism train in Angola on Thursday. And evangelism is a business. Uh, second service, I'll be talking about your job and your work. Your job is to pay you salaries. 
But if you want reward, do evangelism. Many Christians are stagnant, not because God made them stagnant. They left the, the work that can give, give them reward. So you are not doing God a favor. I've been to many places. I'll just mention one. Because we are online. I was in Yemen. I came to Yemen at a time, end of the year. So everybody, all the shops were closed everywhere. So, and I appear. And naturally, I said, no problem. I will just eat biscuits, drink tea. I'll be fine. But as I entered the country, it was a public holiday during the period and the, I think uh, Yemen independence is on the 1st of January. So they have two holidays. So, so, so. And somebody now came to me from the other religion. Says, sir, my wife will cook for you. I did not pray, I did not preach, but I carry Jesus. I, you cannot see me and ignore me. No, it's not possible. It's, the cup. it's not possible. He came to me, said, my wife will cook for you. I, I said, me? Naturally, I'm very, if you, people who knows me, I'm very selective about eating. And I was praying, say, Father, I will not eat that food. And God spoke to me. I sent the food. First Corinthians chapter 10. I've never read it until that time. Maybe I read it, I didn't remember. 25 in King James Version. That, that's I want, I want us to start from practical. Because this evangelism is what? Practical. It's not a story. You do it, you get the reward. You don't do it, you don't get it. So I want you to shift from what? Asking to what? If you want to continue to ask, you also have a choice. Me, I don't like to ask. I want to what? Receive. Before I ask, I want to receive. The only thing that guarantees before you ask, you receive is evangelism. And this is what churches, Christians, they abandon. That's why our lives too are abandoned. That's why you are standing long on that case. It's not that God is wicked. It is because of your priorities. Now, Whatever is sold in what? Shambles. Who is English speaking here? What is shambles? Can you Google? You have your phone. Google shambles. Shambles is, when I Google, it was a disorganized place. I don't want to call that, that country, but at that time, that was the situation. You know, a, a, a shambles, disorganized, disorderly. Things are not working. Where there is. I saw this before. I was asking him. Uh, the food came. I didn't pray on the food because God has already what? You don't understand. It was sent. Then I told myself, no, I am sent to this country. When you are sent, the senders will back you up. Amen. In John chapter 4, verse 35, let, let, let's just read. I will do a bit of Bible study teaching, then I will conclude. Don't say you cannot teach, you cannot preach. You can invite people to church. You don't need university degree to do that. You can invite people. You can talk to people, come to church. You can welcome people. You can visit people. Am I right? You can also pray for soul to come to church. Then you can go on the street to distributor. How many functions have I, have I mentioned now? Huh? Which one are you going to do? Huh? Who says invite? Okay, invite. Uh -huh. Decide. Huh? Preach. Huh? Preach the gospel. Yes, decide. Pray. When we call the prayer meeting, I pray you will come but you cannot do it with your energy. You must be born again. It's compulsory. Where I work now, I don't preach, but people see me. They say, there's something about you. You just brought some changes to the office. Everybody, not, not, not one person. Not, I'm not preaching, but I told you I cannot be ignored. 
I brought us talk about wisdom. That's what we call superior wisdom. Superior wisdom is when you begin to do evangelism, God will give it to you. Pray for it. Wisdom is, okay, if you're asking for wisdom, for what? What do you want to use it for? It's only for the work. Healing, miracle, signs and wonder, is only for evangelists. Authority over nations, over kingdom, is when you preach. And I'll, I'll, I'll just tell you another testimony. Don't say there are still four months. Then comes the other. Behold, I say to you, lift up your eyes now. Look at the feet. They are what? They are, they are waiting for you outside. People are waiting for us. They are waiting for us. When I was They said there are many people on that. They said, if it's me, let him stay as long as he wants to what? What gave you that power? Evangelism. Evangelism. Now, you can go and Google. You can also find out from people. If you're, you live that same day. So when I was now living, I called my, my, my colleagues that work in the office. She has an husband in immigration. I said, please, I don't want to be embarrassed. Let your husband come and what? Accompany me. The head of immigration call him. Don't come to the airport. I will accompany him. My colleague was asking me at the airport. God, they took my passport. They said, ah, they are going to send you to prison. I said, no. The man took me by hand. What? Evangelism. VIP exit. I was celebrated. No prayer, so. You think it's prayer? There are many people that can pray better than me. But when you obey the commandment, in John chapter 15, where we had the text, I'll tell you three things in that place. John 15, abide in me. So that my what? Bible, Bible. My what? My word abide in you. You cannot bear fruit except you do what? Abide in me. And there are three things, English words there. He said, you will be a fruit. How many people want to be a fruit? You be a fruit. Then you grow from bearing fruit to what? More bearing more fruit. In that Bible, that's why I learned English. Much is more than more. Much is more than, is greater than more. But before, I thought more is greater than much. But it was in John 15, I discovered you grow from bearing fruit to what? To more. And more to much. You see, you can, you can also learn English in the Bible. So it's not only the preaching. You can also learn. So you grow from what? Bearing fruit, one to more. More to what? How many people have been misusing that English before? Be honest. You put more... You put more, you put much before more. No. You grow from one fruit to what? More fruit. You bear more fruit. More fruit to what? Much fruit. Now, Jesus said, if you give a cup of water to me in this world, what are you going to receive? 100 in this same world. And in the world, so many people thought evangelism profit is in heaven. You are, you are wasting. Me, I'm enjoying it now. Now, if you may think he's boasting, no. Somebody called me on phone two Fridays ago, and I said, what do you want? Okay, I said, it was in the night. I said, in seven days, you will get a job. That sat, I called him on Friday, Saturday before 24 hours. He got a job. He started the work that same Saturday. How? You think it's power? No, it's obedience. Don't you like that? 
that you just, before you ask, you say you are barren. You say, no, I'm not barren. Nine months, I'm going to deliver. You start evangelism now. Nine months, it will be, you will deliver. So, so why do you like to wait and cry? When there is, that's why reposition what? Shifting to what? From asking to receiving. Matthew 6, 33. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and the sight of you. All the other things, what? Shall be added. Things you are asking for, the addition. Set your priority right. The things you are looking for, they are what? You didn't answer me now. I cannot hear you. Why do you make addition number one? It's your fault, not mine, not God's fault. God wants us to put him first. And he will do what? Yes. Now, I, I, this is what I'm doing. I just put God first. The testimony I wanted to share, share with you, I have, I have a partner. We are in two countries. And we do evangelism twice a month. We call it hospital ministry. So we are not just, we go to hospital to minister to the sick. We also have a budget. So it's not about uh, just going, no, we don't go empty handed. So it's an investment. In Act of Apostles chapter 6, verse 3, when they were looking for, to, to appoint people to do the business, they call it what? Business. It's what? Business. It has budget. So it's not just uh, we are doing it. We are, mm -mm. we are investing into it because it is what? Profitable. So we also dedicate budget. So we go twice. Every month. Maybe they will show, they will, the second service, they will, they, will, they will show us the picture. Let me just talk to you about the provision of the kingdom. What will you get? What am I going to get for doing this? Our brother already talked about a lot of advantages, but I, I, I have a few ones that I want, to, I, want, I, want, I want to add here. Number one, in Matthew 10, the Bible says he called his disciples. He called 12 of them. He gave them what? Power against what? Matthew 10. Okay. Okay, we have seen the business. I point over this business. Go to Matthew chapter 10. Let's look at verse 1, 2. He, called, he gave them power what? Over what? Unclean spirit. Are you still being disturbed by unclean spirit? It is because you are not going out. He gave them what? Power against what? Unclean spirit. They are pressing you down in your dream every day. They are sleeping with you. You are coming to church. You are having sex in your dream. Your pregnancy is coming down. You say you are crying. No. Change the narrative. Change what? It is, we give you, because once you begin to do it, it will empower you. That unclean spirit, including familiar spirit, family spirit. Familiar spirit is what? The spirit of the family. Everybody has it. Some call it foundational powers, ancestral yokes. They see your miracle before you get it yourself. They see. They see ahead. They know what is happening to you. They may be in the village. It doesn't matter. But how do you exercise authority over them? It's you need to preach the gospel. So he gave you power over what? Unclean spirit. The Bible said the members, the enemies of man are the member of his own household. I want a fire that is fresh. I want a fire that is fresh. What fire cannot do? I want a fire that is fresh. You can sing it with me. Everyone goes, okay. Have the fire that is... I want you to sit down. Just sit down. Oh, fire cannot do. We'll do that in second service. I want a fire that is fresh. I want the Holy Ghost that is fresh. I want the Holy Ghost that is fresh. The one I'm carrying before. Oh, the Holy Ghost cannot do. I want a fire... That is fresh. You can only get it on the altar of evangelism. He gave them to cast them out. To heal all manner 
of sickness. And I tell you this morning, no matter the sickness represented, they will be healed. If you believe, you are healed already. I'm going to, I want you to pray for yourself now. You see, you are going to pray this prayer like this. I want us to demonstrate it. Believe God this morning. That sickness we go. Amen. That infirmity we go. Amen. That battle we go. Amen. You see me as I'm praying? Now, this one I got is when I was coming yesterday in the plane. I was asking God, what am I going to say? God asked Joas to go and meet Elisha. In 2 Kings chapter 13. I'm, 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 I'm jumping. But that's not part of the message, but it's a benefit for first, first timer for coming this morning. So he asked Joas, go and meet Elisha. Elisha was about to go. He said, Elisha now touch his hand. He said, shoot an arrow. He shot how many times? Three times. And dropped the arrow. Ah, Eli Elisha said, for you, you would have win this battle forever. If you are able to shoot how many times? Six, five, six times. How many fingers do you have? Five. The Bible says he gave them what? Apostle, prophet, evangelist, teacher, and what? Pastor. You have a pastor. He gave you five for the edification. This money is to edify you. This message is to edify you. It's to shift you from wherever enemy has kept you. You will get out. Chains and shackles are going to be broken now. In the name of Jesus, you are going to use your leg to shoot the arrow. Shoot the arrow. If your shoe is too high, you can drop your shoe so that it doesn't break. <laughs> Our sister, you can do don't break your shoe. So you are going to shoot. Say any power, any wicked power that follow me to this way is my break. Break and scatter, break and scatter, break and scatter, break and scatter. Demonstrate it. Any power holding my leg from prosperity. Break, 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 break. Aha. Jesus, may we pray. Those of us with arthritis, that you can check your leg now. <laughs> it's gone. Amen. That's an exercise. Give them power against what? Unclean spirit. Check it. That thing is gone. Yeah. You can check it. I want you to check it. No, so that mm -mm, we are not saying, don't say, check. Check that problem. Check the situation. Makapo kesenteria. Malolo bo shende kebori abasata. Bakoko poriko. Paraka santalia. Every yoke of darkness. Be broken now. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Today is our evangelism. A sick person cannot do evangelism. Every sickness this morning must be healed. Amen. What are the other benefits apart from what our brother said? The Bible says, if you serve me, Job 36, 11, if they serve him, uh -huh, what, will, what will happen? Huh? They will spend their days what? And their years. Job 36, 11. Well, how do you want to spend your days? Huh? You want to be asking every day, go, you must do it. Answer me now. When there is another cheaper way, if they obey, you know the problem with believers? We are not ready to obey. We like, people like to struggle. They like activity. Me, I've stopped activity. People like what? Activity. activity. Walk from here to the beach. Why do I need to walk when I can take a car? Activity. If they obey, the reason why you are still committing sin is not because, it is because you don't have the nature of God in you. When that power comes, sin will drop. When sin drop, your miracle will appear. If they obey, who are the day? If I obey. I used to tell myself, ah, you must obey. With my position, it's not easy to do evangelism. But I say, position is for the ground, not for me. I don't want tie to to what? To keep me. I want to do the work. So if they obey, and what? And serve him. Service will give you what? They will spend their days in what? Prosper. It doesn't matter the work you are doing. God is capable to prosper you. You do not need to envy anybody. There is prosperity in that job you are doing. 
Maybe because of time. Let, let, let me briefly tell. So if they obey, they will spend their days in what? Prosperity and their years. So the days and your years are kofa. Matthew 6, 33. It's kofa. So if you obey, what do you need to do? Obey, serve. How many hours will you spend on everybody? Yesterday, how many hours did you spend on outreach? Three hours maximum. Finish. And you get the reward. Praise the Lord. Exodus chapter 23. 5 to 6. 25 to 26. It will give you health. So shall you serve the Lord your God. He will bless your bread and water. Let them poison it. It will not work in your body. Amen. Why? Because the Bible says in Mark 16. Don't leave this one. I'll tell you the story. Mark 16. He said, and this sign shall follow them that believe. There are five. Five signs. Number one, they will cast out the devil. Number two, they will, they will speak with two tongues. Number three, they will take serpent. Number four, if they eat any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Number five, they lay hands on sick, it will recover. It's verse 20 we read. So then, the Lord walking with them. When you do this thing, the Lord will be walking with you. Confirming the war with signs follow. If signs are not following you, check your life. And you are not, you are not empty. Is either signs are following you or something else is what? Failure will not follow you any longer. Amen. Limitation will not follow you. Can I hear a louder amen? amen. Barrenness will not follow you. Amen. Poverty will not follow you. Amen. Touch it and lose it will no longer follow you. Amen. Sickness will no longer follow you. Can I hear a louder amen? amen? Now, number three, if you serve. John 12, 26. I'm jumping because of our time. It's honor. What is that? Honor. John 12, 26. He said, anyone serve me? Anyone? If an unbeliever serve God, he will get this honor. You don't understand. When Noah was asking, okay, that's the second service. When Noah was asking the animal to come, animal that honor God entered the ark. Men did not enter the ark. If any man, anyone served me, they didn't say any man, anyone served me. You remember Balaam? The animal spoke. If anyone, and Jesus said, take that coat that is tied, bring it, if anyone, 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 whether man or human being or animal, if anyone served me, let him follow me. And where I am, my servant, if anyone serve me, him, my father, we honor. Why are you praying for honor? Huh? Why are you saying God will honor me? Hey, my office must honor me. No. When I come to the office, honor has come. Mm -mm. If you don't invite me to your meeting, the meeting is incomplete. It's incomplete. They will say, let's go and call him. And I will go there unprepared. Unprepared. And I will just say something. And you say, wow, where did you get that wisdom? Bible. <laughs> the word of God, evangelism. You just put me there. God will elevate you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I was talking to uh, a brother this morning. Now, do you know sun and moon? Does, this, does the moon generate light? Huh? No, you are sure? Okay, what does the moon generate? Speak, don't worry, just no, 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 no wrong answer. Ma, speak, speak, speak. Oh, our sister is afraid. She knows the answer. The moon does not generate light, the moon is stationary. Which one generates light? Sun. And the moon just stay waiting for the radiation from what? Why are you using your energy? Moon understood this process. And the Bible says in Malachi chapter 4, he said, Behold, I'm going to fast too, but let me read it from fast one. He said, Behold, the day come, we shall burn as oven, and burn the proud, and all that do wickedness shall be as stubble, and the day that comes shall burn them up. He shall leave that, that ruin or branch. He said, But unto me that fear the name of the Lord, shall the what? Son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and they shall go forth as calf of the storm, and they shall tear down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the sole of my feet. To say the Lord. Now, Jesus. 
is the son of what? Righteousness. So the moon just radiates the heat from the sun. If you are born again, you are supposed to radiate what? The glory of the Jesus. Because Jesus is the son of what? So what you see in me, I'm radiating what? The glory of Jesus. When I get to a situation, let every demon be present. They will disappear. Because they will announce to themselves, yes, come on. Don't let us wait for each other. Why? I carry extraordinary gifts. You can do it. The glory is not for you to use in heaven. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. Witches and witchcraft, you can undo them. You can do what? But you, you, left, you left your estate. Your estate is to seek you first what? The kingdom of God and this righteousness. Let me just tell you a few things. Then we'll start to pray. You remember Obedodem? Obedodem? They put the ark in his house. How many days? 90 days. Why didn't you try it for 90 days faithfully? If it doesn't work, stop. He kept the ark. The ark that killed Usa. He kept it for 90 days. Prosperity came to his house. David said, Usa, <laughs> you are not supposed... David came to, to borrow the hack from his, from his house. Why, did, why are you not keeping the hack of God? 90 days, faithfully, there will be transformation. If it doesn't work, then say, Pastor, I don't want to do evangelism again. Why are you trying things that cannot work? When there are tested, tested things that you can do. You can fast, but fight rightly. Fast correctly. Do what you are doing correctly. You know what you need to do? You must be born again. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. I walk in the other part of the world very well. And those people we are calling unbelievers, if you see the efficacy of their righteousness, you will bow. Some, some of these we are doing, they don't do it all. During Ramadan, animal will fast. Like the time of Noah, I saw it in one of the places I was. Animal will fast. Get up, wake up. Do what? Wake up. If you are going to be a Christian, be a Christian. Be on fire. You are, we are losing many ground because of our, our sluggishness. Because of time, I will not be able to... But I want to share this with you. There is a labor component on evangelism. What did I call it? You need to labor. Evangelism is not bed of roses. No. That is a labor. And I want to use that from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, from verse 5. The Bible says, if Paul plants, there must be a planter. There must be what? A planter. Maybe, go, who, who is Paul? Okay. Let's go to verse 6. Let's see whatever. Paul plants. There must be a planter. There must be what? A waterer. The one somebody who puts water. So what are you doing? Don't say, don't sit on the fence. No. Don't be a Christian on the fence. We don't, you are not cold. You are not hot. God cannot reckon with you. Some people pray. They say, we shout in there. We shout in. Where are some people just kneel down? They are worshiping God. And God say, what do you want? I'm just worshiping. Tell me what you want. Which one do you like? Want to pray? And fast? And do for one week? And be rolling on the floor? And be crying? Oh God, see your son. And God say, oh son, see your God. See your God. Oh daughter, see your son. Hey God, God is saying, daughter, see your God. You are the one who abandoned evangelism. You are the one who left it. I'm ready to bless you, but you are disobedient. I Paul plant, Apollo, God gave the increase. Ne next verse 7, 7, because of our time. Verse 7. So then, not the person who plant and the person that water anything, but God who give the increase. Let's go to verse 8. Now, 
ill e plants and ill waters are one. They are doing the same work. Whether you pray, you bring people, you go on the street, you uh, visit people, you invite people, they are doing the same work. But everyone shall receive what? His own reward according to his own labor. And Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 15. He said, the labor of the foolish will risk them because they do not know how to get to the city. I pray you will get to the city this morning. Yeah. To get to the city is through evangelism. Ecclesiastes, the labor of fool. They, many Christians are tired. We read this courage. Why? You are working in foolishness. What you are doing will not bring profit. That's why they, they do not know the way other people are making it. They do not know how to go to the city. And if I have time, I would have told you, Paul, when he was going to Damascus, in Acts of Apostles chapter 9, the Bible said, go to the city. There is an Ananiah there who will teach you what to do. You need to get to the city. Getting to the city is what I'm showing you this one. Evangelism. So win. Profile 20. No, okay, let's go to verse 18 here. He's talking about sluggard. Verse 18, 10, 18. Ecclesiastes 10, 18. Because of laziness, the building decays. Work of your hand are decaying. Your marriage is decaying. Not because God is not righteous. Because of what? You are lazy. Sorry. I'm, I'm not, I will not be honest with you, so no problem. <laughs> Don't be what? Don't be lazy. Idleness of hand. You are watching film. Monday to Saturday, social media, Manchester United. It's not, it's not wrong to play football, but create time for God. Building decays. What is building? Your life is the building. It's decaying. It's ruining. It's going down. Your business is going down. While you are not looking, address it. Proverbs 20, verse 4. 20 verse 4. Proverb 20 verse 4. Do I still have like five minutes? Huh? Three minutes. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll wrap up now. Okay, yes. The lazy man will not plow because of winter. Ah! If he didn't plow, he will what? I pray you will not beg in our first. Tell your neighbor, you will not beg. You will not beg. You will not beg. Now, evangelism, as I wrap up, it is input and what? Output. No input. That was the profound revelation God gave to Noah. He said, seed time and harvest. We know seed. No seed time, no harvest. No sowing, no reaping. Understanding what is what is your contribution? God will only bless the work. Now, if you are a cleaner, God will bless you as a cleaner. Don't 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 despise your work. It's not uh, I working in high office. No, this thing we are talking about is doing little in your corner, doing little contribution in your corner, making value addition in your corner, and God bless you. Let me summarize this 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 morning. Wise men. Our brother talked about it in early glory. When you do the work of God, you are wise. Now, it takes away, it terminates mockery and shame. Reproach is taken. Hebrews 13, 13. The Bible says, let us go and meet them at the gate. And so the reproach can be taken away. That's another benefit. Look at it. Therefore, let us go forth to meet him outside the camp, outside the church. Bearing his reproach. When you bear his reproach, your reproach is taken away. Can I hear amen? Amen. Lastly, he brings favor. Everybody say favor. A brother talked about it. John 15. 16. If you, when you do this thing, if you ask anything in my name, I what? I will do it. What is that? Faithful. God say anything. You, what, what is the question they ask Esther? The king asked Esther, what? Demand anything you want. God is asking you on the platter of evangelism. Anything you ask, I will what? I will do it. 
Rise up on your feet. This morning, before we pray, now, all eyes closed. You, you have heard me. You want to surrender your life. You say, this morning, I'm giving my life. I want to rededicate my life. Just raise your hand wherever you are. All eyes closed. You are not raising your hand to me. You are raising it to Jesus. You are saying, Jesus, come into my heart. I want to be born again this morning. I want to surrender my life to you. Wherever you are, just raise your hand and wave that hand and say, Father, forgive me this morning. I'm rededicating my life to you. I'm repenting of my sins. I'm, I'm, I'm coming back to you. Take me as your son. Take me as your daughter. Rewrite my name in the book of life. Forgive me my sin. Yeah, that is fresh. What fire cannot do. I want a fire that is fresh. That's our prayer. I want the fire that is fresh. I want the fire that is fresh. Oh, fire cannot do. I want the fire that is fresh. You are not happy with the message? You are going to that. I want the fire that is fresh. I want the fire that is fresh. Oh, it's a prayer. It's a prayer. It's a prayer. I want the fire. Hallelujah, I want the Demonstrate, demonstrate, demonstrate. I want the fire that is there. Oh, fire cannot do. I want the fire that is there. I want the fire that is there. I want the fire that is there. Oh, fire cannot do. I want the Let's stretch with our hands and pray that the Almighty God will bring forth fresh fire upon him, that the hand of the Lord be quickened for greater exploits in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for quickening. Thank you for grace to begin the work, the business of soul winning. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Let's give Jesus a big hand of praise. Please be seated. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Uh, we will continue in the second service. Um, it's a privilege to hear the word of God. And the almighty God will bless every one of us in Jesus' name. The ushers will help us with the offerings. Today is our welfare Sunday. That's why you have the second envelope. Our tithe, our offerings, let us bring forth to honor God this morning as we quickly take the following announcements. Tuesday is our Bible study. Come and let us learn at his feet, wherein you have opportunity to ask questions. This Thursday is our communion service, God preserving us. This Thursday is our communion service, and the Lord will encounter us afresh in Jesus' name. This coming Wednesday, all men will be having their fellowship online, 9 p.m., Men's Fellowship online, 9 p.m. this coming Wednesday. Get the link, share the link, and let us fellowship together this coming Wednesday, 9 p.m. This coming Saturday is Light Up Peru. Light Up Peru this coming Saturday. Let's prepare to be there. It's going to be an outing that shows that you have learned that you must go out for soul winning. So now we have had the word. 
next Saturday is an opportunity to be the doer of the word. So we are going for an outreach in Peru next week Saturday. And also we expect materials, clothing, shoes, so that we can bless the community with even household items as you do so. We have a box already outside. Just bring them nicely, put them in the box. We will arrange them. And when we go out, we will bless them. The Lord be with you in Jesus' name. This coming Sunday is second to the last Sunday in the month of March. And we'll be having a family Sunday this Sunday. Because the last Sunday is the Easter weekend. This coming Sunday is the family Sunday. And um, we'll be talking about marriage once again. Uh, we see a lot of attack going on in our world. And it's not attacking small, small marriages now. Marriages of 30 years, 40 years have been attacked. And you're asking question, what else? So those of you that your marriage is just three years and you're not praying, you're not focused. <laughs> yeah, the Lord, we have mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. First of April, there will be Toda at the house of CGV Tree Tabernacle, Toda. So we will also be part of that program. And the good news is that the anniversary is 16 days to go. <laughs> wow, just like that, 16 days to go. Hashtag 1550. Hmm. It is where? Hmm. Or should we postpone it? <laughs> so the finance committee, they are waiting for you. We thank God for the progress so far. And um, the Lord Almighty God, we encourage and prosper you in Jesus' name. The launch project is ongoing. And we also want you to be part of it. The land is waiting for us. Amen. Amen. The land is already is waiting. It's waiting. It's just for us to uh, swipe. <laughs> Amen. So the land is waiting for us. And it will happen in the name of Jesus Christ. There will be a committee meeting tomorrow. Last week, we have some people joining the committee as we have been announcing from day one, we've been announcing, uh, if you want to be part of the committee, join the committee. Many of us, you are running away from responsibility. Um, so another meeting tomorrow, you still want to be part of the committee, anniversary committee. We need many people. But the truth is that if you don't come, there won't be uh, opportunity for you to serve. So. Committee meeting tomorrow, 7 p.m. The Lord be with you in Jesus' name. So, if you have questions, inquiries, please do and ask from the committee member or from the ministers. The magazine is ongoing. The red carpet is ongoing. The backdrop, you want your business to be advised, advertised rather, on the backdrop. You can still do that only this week, only this week. You have goodwill messages, you have only this week, only this week. We have 16 days to go, the magazine must come out before that day. And the Lord bless every one of us in Jesus' name. As our chairman always ask that we should pray. From last Sunday till now, We've seen some inflows, and I pray you will never run dry. Amen. The Lord will fill your heart with joy. Amen. You will not bury your children. Amen. The glory of the Lord will shine forth in your life. Amen. When you knock one door, seven shall be opened unto you. Amen. Favor and mercy of the Lord shall speak for you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Is there someone, today's your first Sunday here, today's your first Sunday in this auditorium, just wave your hands, today's your first Sunday here, is there anyone? 
Is there anyone? Today's your first Sunday? Okay. Wow. God bless you. You are welcome. Let's celebrate him. Let's celebrate him. Now, we've been taught, we've been reminded to go in your neighborhood, in your complexes, everywhere. Invite someone. Don't worry. Some people are praying that as they step into this place, God will encounter them. Some people are also ready to visit them after they have come. We have a follow-up team. We have evangelism team. So as you do your own, play your own part, leave others to do their own part. I can't come to your place. You know, majority of you are living in Parklands North. Some of you can't be. I can't, I can't. But you are there, you are there. Invite them and say, come, come to our church. We are inviting you. Then the preacher is waiting to preach Christ to them. Amen. Ministers are waiting to preach Christ to them. So please come, and they will come in Jesus' name. Just behind you, bro. Amen. One of our ministers will be attending to you. I pray that your life will never remain the same in Jesus' name. I pray that Jesus will encounter you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Peace unto you. In Jesus' name, we are afraid. Shall we please stand? Shall we please stand? The second service will start immediately after now. But I just want you to pray. Oh, Youth Fellowship, this weekend, 22nd and 24th, all the youths, you are to be part of this program. One is online and one is on site. As you will be part of it, the Lord will enlighten you. The Lord will strengthen you and the Lord will give you grace. Father, we ask that your hand be upon these offerings. All the titles in the house, let your glory rest upon them. Rebook the voras for everyone that has offered today and multiply this seed in our lives. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. The Lord be with you in Jesus' name. How many of us have received fresh fire? I want you to just lift your right hand and say, Father, I receive this grace to be a genuine, fervent soul winner in the name of Jesus. This grace will keep me, will strengthen me, and there shall be great harvest in my time in Jesus' name. As we have decreed and agreed, so it is done. Peace be unto you. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. The grace in fellowship and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely, all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord. We need to remind you because the anniversary is just 16 days to go. The, the uniform code is white, purple, or gold. Amen. In anniversary, the Lord be with you in Jesus' name. And our portion is... You will not miss your blessings in Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you for coming. And the Lord will encourage you more and more in Jesus' name. The second service starts in three minutes. God bless you. Yeah.